Yeah, what would have happened if the rules were completely different, but the man would have had the exact same training and acted in the exact same way? Bro, you hear yourself? You hear, you, you hear yourself, man? You think like when kneeing a down opponent would be allowed, you think they would do the exact same stuff. Are you for real, man? Think twice, think twice. If kneeing a down opponent was allowed, or if soccer kick was allowed, or if stomps was allowed, the grapplers would employ different strategies. Wow, was that, uh, was that uh, any difficult? Like, I don't mean to insult you, my friend. I I'm, sure, I'm sure you could have thought of that yourself if you just gave it like two seconds of a thought. No, if the rules were completely different, not the same things would have happened in that fight. That, that's the real answer. And all the grapplers here fighting in MMA, they would employ completely different strategies based on the rules. And as I said before, they would be able to implement more grappling and it would be easier to implement grappling because you would need less of a grappling technique to successfully then dominate and employ ground and pound. Because the ground and pound and even the ground kicks and knees would start much sooner. Much sooner you would take away the effective striking of the striker and start effective ground and pound. So the whole grappling training would be a bit different. That's what, I, that's what I'm saying, man. It's simple as that. I hope that now uh, was much easier to understand.